So the sittings of this new 12th parliament started last week following the controversial joint session of the two legislative chambers addressed by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Tonight, political affairs reporter Murim Mwangi turns the spotlight on Senate Speaker Kenneth Lusaka and explains how the one-time district officer found his way to the top seat in the Senate of the 12th Parliament. It has been a vigorous political jig. A jig which on the 31st of August found its way to parliament buildings as Kenneth Makelo Lusaka occupied the prestigious Senate Speaker's seat in the 12th Parliament. Congrats. It has been a long journey for the man from Mapera village in Bungoma County. His first stop at public administration being his posting as district officer for Keumbo Division in Kisi. At the peak of Kanu crackdown on multi-partism crusaders in the early 1990s. I had to attend literally all funerals to listen to what the vibrance, then political vibrance, working at James Orengo, working at Raila, who were talking about in funerals because we had them to report back. The ambitious administrator would shoot his way to the tough district commissioner's job. <laughs> but would get his real test when late internal security minister John Michuki posted him to Muranga district at the height of the outlawed Mungiki sect in central Kenya with orders from Michuki's office, a special police squad under the coordination of local provincial administration, <laughs> launched a major crackdown on the outlawed sect. But with the bloody operation came the loss of lives of tens of young people, with some rights groups raising the alarm about alleged extrajudicial killings. I remember where they were taking an oath and there was a, a big confrontation between, I think that's the time uh, quite a number were, 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 there was a shootout between the Mungiki and the police. That's a, a time that uh, quite a number were, were, were killed. But I think, again, the government really had to, to, to stamp its authority to be able to stabilize the area. The former administrator who also served as the first secretary for provincial administration at the office of the president turned to elective politics in 2013, becoming the first Bungoma governor on the new Ford Kenya party. But his administration was not without controversies, including residents' uproar over the purchase of 10 such wheelbarrows at the cost of over 100,000 each. And I'm the one who ordered for an audit, just to find out how the ministries were operating. And when I saw that also as, as a governor, I was a bit surprised that, you see, that would be the cost of, uh, of a wheelbarrow. Uh, I said um, then uh, I wanted a report on what it was. On August 8th, Lusaka lost the Bungoma governorship to Fort Kenya's weekly Fuangamati. <laughs> but got the blessings of President Uhuru Kenyatta's Jubilee Party to run for the position of Senate Speaker. He took up the seat with the vote of 42 senators against the 25 that voted for former National Assembly Deputy Speaker Farah Malim. Yes, for you. Yeah. Critics say Lusaka faces a tough balancing act, moderating debate in the Jubilee-dominated House. We have approached business at the Senate in a bipartisan manner at all times. Now, there is no way you can alter the budget of Makwene County, even if you are in the majority. Anything that touches on a county affects any, uh, the other counties. We would want some priority, as we, we discussed, that I may not agree with what you are saying, but I respect. Uh, I'll give you an opportunity to say what you want to say. And we're expecting, look at the senators, these are very, most of them are people who have served in this country in various capacities, very senior capacities. But as the country marches to the October 17th repeat presidential poll, the former administrator, one-term governor and calculating politician will be missing in action from the public rallies as his current position bars him from active campaigns. Lusaka says he will spend the time familiarizing himself with the Senate procedures before the House resumes. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.